So anyhow, the first, I'm going to talk about two indie werewolf movies that I feel were kind of game changers, and then one that I just found on the radio. The first one is a is a personal favorite of both of ours. I know the guys behind it uh, is Wolf Cop. Oh hell yes, Wolf Cop is awesome. Wolf Cop, and, mm-hmm. and, and here's the thing. Well, I'll tell you a little secret about mm-hmm. Wolf Cop. It actually came out. It was two mm-hmm. the, the the guys in it, Lowell Dean, um, uh, and I think it was the star Leo. Before, who is but they came out of nowhere they they actually there was a thing called cinecoop here i don't think it exists anymore but it was basically a competition where you submitted an idea for a film and they called it an accelerator program so like 100 people submitted their film ideas and they basically it was gamified so like every week 10 people would drop off until they picked the top ones and wolf cop won that competition yeah and so they were nobody filmmakers from the middle of nowhere i think it was saskatchewan um like the middle of nowhere canada Mm -hmm. they submitted into this program and they got one and if i remember correctly the budget was exactly a million dollars give or take but i think it was like basically it was a few hundred thousand dollars in tax credits and a bunch of stuff that they did Mm -hmm. was able to make this movie so it is a low budget indie for sure and um and it came out of a competition so don't think like it's one of those ones that these guys did nothing before they were just a couple of guys who ran around trying to make a movie entered a competition and it came and out came wolf cop and wolf cop also spawned wolf cop 2 yeah uh, called another wolf cop <laughs> uh and i and i don't know why there's not a third the guy the guys behind it who i've i've i know these guys i actually helped out a bit uh well with a project for another wolf cop for the second one but wolf cop is essentially like it's a comedy did you supply the liquor and donuts for the second one i actually supplied liquor for the second one it's actually true it's 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 actually beer we uh we Mm -hmm. we made it we actually made a wolf cop lager beer and if you watch another wolf cop Mm -hmm. he drinks a beer called dale ale the entire time that was our that was our beer (laughs) <laughs> we, yeah we there's the, isn't there a beer called dale's pale ale or something like well that? there is dale's well, pale ale. States. yeah yeah and we got in trouble so we called oh, it, that's yeah. that's why we changed it to actually calling it wolf cop lager so we actually we made the beer and it's called wolf cop lager and it was dale's wolf cop lager and it was in the movie if you watch it he drinks yeah. dale dale's wolf cop lager the entire time see i'm i know that because i'm very uh my brand awareness is there very key with, yeah. with all lots of different types of beers because i've sampled many different things yeah. well, variety of actually, of beers. i know a guy who owns a a, a brewery and mm-hmm. we've actually made wolf cop lager mm-hmm. and put it in cans and, and put it out uh and uh ta- i talked with the guys mm-hmm. uh who made the movie and we got it in the movie it was pretty funny so yes that was my small part in another wolf cop um but uh, talking about the movie itself, if you haven't mm-hmm. seen it, I think it's a must-see indie werewolf movie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just for the fact alone that uh, Liquor and Donuts feels his werewolf powers mm-hmm. akin to uh, spinach feeling Popeye's strength is, is makes it worth watching. Just just that alone. Well, essentially, and if you, the script itself is like it's a comedy mm-hmm. in the vein of like, I know the guys behind it, they're big like Strange Brew fans and stuff. So yes, exact- it has a lot of Strange Brew, <laughs> strange brew and Robocop elements. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they put the Strange Brew, the, the, full, the first Wolf Cop is very Robocop. It's essentially mm-hmm. the script for Robocop. Take out uh, the Robocop and put in a werewolf and, yep. then make, and make it funny. And part uh, two is Strange Brew, basically. Uh, yeah. And yeah. part, part mm-hmm. two is Strange Brew. Um, and it's very and it's funny but I mean the thing about taking a comedic view on the film it, it allows the actual werewolf to look kind of goofy like he he's mm-hmm. definitely a goofy looking werewolf but that totally works in this movie and it's gory it's got its gory mm-hmm. parts it's got its violence but it's essentially Robocop with a werewolf uh, that's a comedic film and it's and it's a fantastic indie werewolf movie that i thought was like put werewolves back on the map a little bit because it was like oh shit werewolves i remember uh this is just what made me think of this right now speaking of when we were talking about werewolf transformation scenes Mm -hmm. uh, an episode or two back and i was thinking about the werewolf transformation scene in wolf cop about like how he's in the bathroom taking a piss and all of a sudden he starts turning into werewolf and you know, like when the Hulk like rips through his shirt and everything, well, the well, the werewolf parts start coming through his regular parts and like rips his his cock apart and everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, I was been. like, I was like, that's a very creative uh, werewolf uh, transformation scene. I bet no one's even thought of doing that before. Yeah. They started like pissing blood or something too. Yeah, yeah. and and the second <laughs> yeah. one has full were- full frontal werewolf nudity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
the second one. <laughs> um, anyhow, it's I mean, mm-hmm. for indie horror comedies, it's it, it's a must see. If you haven't seen Wolf Cop, you gotta go. You gotta go check it out. Yeah. Um, so now the second uh, indie werewolf horror that I want to talk about is a completely different vibe. But I think it's it also kind of redefined mm-hmm. werewolf movies a bit, and it's Dog Soldiers. Yep, by the great Neil Marshall, right when it's he a, was kind of starting out, getting famous. Yeah, it's actually his directorial mm-hmm. debut. Uh, mm-hmm. So Dog Soldiers was his directorial debut, and there's a couple inter- interesting things about it. One, it actually takes a different take on the werewolves. They actually more look like wolves standing up, right? They they don't, and they're friggin' tall too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, well, imagine mm-hmm. like have you ever taken your dog and stood your dog up? Mm-hmm. They're actually pretty tall. Yeah, and, and he actually made it look like it was the first time it's like well why would a werewolf look like a human with a wolf face like they, they would actually be like like wolves right? and mm-hmm. if you actually remember them and they keep them kind of in the shade because it might get a little wonky but they basically look like massive wolves that are bipedal like they stand up and they have the yep. weird skinny legs and the fuck, fuck and leg. movie that was similar to that now that i'm thinking of that and i don't know whether this sort of borrowed from it a bit but company of wolves they were like that too i remember they had some funky transformation oh, yeah. sequences like that in there and then right now i'm kind of drawing a little bit of a parallel to it but yeah uh, remember the I, cover it's like the the wolf is coming like right out of the human's um face it's like the wolf face is splitting apart and it's got the snout and everything through it oh yeah, yeah. That, yeah. and that that's a, an amazing uh cover art the, the yeah. cover art oh, on yeah. that one is one of my favorites mm-hmm. uh but dog soldiers to me that was one of the ones that actually made like the, the werewolves themselves it, it was more like I don't want to say zombies. It was making them more like, no, nah, they're creatures. They're not people. They're like creatures. Yeah. Like, and so the whole idea of this was that it's 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 basically a bunch of marines versus werewolves, right? Mm-hmm. And and the werewolves are less like oh, it, so I mean, most werewolf movies are about like oh, hey, here's this main guy. He has a secret. He's a werewolf, and uh, occasionally he turns into it and he goes and hunts. Think American Werewolf in London or mm-hmm. anything along that lines. That's usually the the the, the Teen the, Wolf, yeah. Teen Wolf. That's usually the, the way they, they, they take yeah. that's usually the take on werewolves. This one was a little different. It's like, no, actually, these are a bunch of Marines, and there's a pack of werewolves, and they're mm-hmm. just they're different creatures. And um and, and so it's a different take. It's like you're not now you're not communicating with these guys, they're like aliens, they're just vicious and they're everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I thought it was a cool take on it. I remember the Marines are in this house, and the, mm-hmm. the whole eventual goal it was kind of an aliens theme where they mm-hmm. someone in on the Marines was there to capture a werewolf and bring it back, right? Like that was part of the, the, the idea of it. And and then what ends up happening. So it's basically the aliens, mm-hmm. it's an aliens yeah. plot, right? Like it's this mm-hmm. Marines goes into a cabin. And, and and one of them reveals later that he was supposed to kidnap one of these things and bring it back so they could they could do experiments on it or, or figure out what yeah. the whole deal is. So it's the aliens plot. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't remember if they kind of show them ever as people or just it's always like I just remember creepy scenes where it's like in the dark and the shade and the werewolves walking in and they have those long creepy legs and they're the human yeah. mm-hmm. wolves and it's just badass. There's badass action in it for a low budget movie too. It really was, to be honest. That was actually what it was. It's basically aliens, but with werewolves. Yeah. So, Wolf Cop was Robocop with a werewolf. This was aliens with werewolves. Yeah, well, um, yeah, lower budget than aliens. Even though aliens, when you see the making of it, it was actually lower budget than I thought it would be. When they they had to, well, they James had, Cameron they had, had to pull some serious strings to get uh, done what he. Yeah, got and they had puppets. And, yeah. It was like yeah. it's always yeah. weird when you see that skinny dude mm-hmm. wearing the alien outfit. You're like, fuck! They put a dude in a costume to play the alien. Yeah, I do like the long, like gangly kind of look of the aliens and making them more, or the, or the werewolves making them more creature like that. But yeah, 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 I think that's yeah, that's a good take. It's a mm-hmm. good take on it. And mm-hmm. what's interesting on the backstory of it, it, it is Neil Marshall's directorial debut, and Neil Marshall is awesome. We all know that now. Uh, but he had written this about six, seven years before, and he said it took him six years to raise the money and figure out how to actually get it made. So it's a yeah. really cool for indie for indie filmmakers out there. Like, think about where Neil Marshall is now. Mm-hmm. He said he sat there for six years with this script ready to go, having to raise the money to get it done. I think they did it for, I think it's going to be two to three million dollars was probably the mm-hmm. range it was in. It did all its money on video afterwards, right? Because oh, yeah. it had a yeah. limited, limited release, but it was one of those ones that went sort of viral afterwards because everyone was like, how awesome is this movie? But I mean, great story in that literally it took him six years to get this made, got it made. It was a hit, and all of a sudden that launched his whole career, and then it didn't take him nearly as long. But it's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen Dog Soldiers, 
got to see dog soldiers. Yeah, that's definitely a good werewolf pick right there. 